Hey guys, how is everybody doing? So, what's up? How is everybody doing today? You know, what is your what is your company about? Yeah, what's up, guys? What's up, Deep? Yeah, um, guys, if, um, you know, I, um, I just want to say this if I do get any Benmos, um, this week, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna send, or we do get anything, I'm gonna do send, uh, I'm gonna send. Uh, Joe Cartolano, a donation through Venmo, and help him out. Didn't even realize that he didn't get paid from uh, that. Um, yeah. 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 Um, I had a lot of fun doing this show today. Good morning, guys. How is everybody doing this morning? Doing this afternoon, sorry. I'm still... Hello, I'm still on the morning. Um... I'm live right now. Dang. <laughs> But right, good morning, guys. Good, sorry, good afternoon, guys. Hope everybody is staying safe today. Um, Jake, you need to quit. You need to quit telling people this afternoon, jackass. Oh, oh, sh unsend. Sorry, wrong link. Sorry, wrong link. How are you doing, brother? Um, guys, I'm gonna be sending Joey a donation soon. If we do get, he he will get a little bit of something out of this. Um, Joey didn't have a good time there. Patrick Melton. Didn't treat him with any respect. But Patrick Melton, he's a piece of shit. 
The only reason why he's famous in the Dabbleverse is because he, um, I, I, I know that I don't owe Joey anything. Joey has helped me so many times. I know that I've been a piece of shit to people. I know I've been a piece of shit to people. I know I've been a piece of shit to a lot of people lately. And I'm so thankful that people have, like... Yeah. Yeah, um... Yeah. Someone's here in it. Holy oak. Hey now. Hey now. What's up? What's up? Uh, how you doing today, ladies and gentlemen, from the Bubba the Lost Bun show and from and also his big accomplishment is he had a stare, he had a uh, pose down with Hogan and Shawn Michaels. Holy Joe! Hey now, <clears throat> how you feeling? Yeah. Doing okay, you know. Uh, just getting some shit done, you know. Uh, we we we're we're styling and profiling always. I'm glad. For some reason, I don't get notifications when you go live. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Are you live on Twitch right now? Yes. I didn't get a notification from Twitch. Sometimes I do. This time right. I didn't. Yeah, and I, and I post uh, I post the link in both. I sent you the link, plus I posted in the Bub Army Rules chat. I got it. I got it. I got it all now. I, I just wrapped up a whole bunch of stuff. I just I met the new director of nursing. It's a giant man. And uh, the, the lady that I was dealing with, she's very nice and helpful. She came walking in with this giant man behind her, and I'm like, whoa. And she's like, here he is, the new boss. And I said, oh, boy. So we had a little oh. chit chat and we just wrapped that up and and then that's when you popped in and let me know that you're doing the damn thing, cousin. Yeah. Uh I wanna add, you know, one of the things that I did see a little bit of NXT, they started for the, they they should have waited until the main event to have Jordan Grace come out. Nope. I don't agree. I said it on my stream when I was watching it. I said it way hours before the show ever started. I said, I hope this show starts. But here's where I would have done it different. I would have opened up the show. Hey, welcome to NXT. Yippee yo. And then I would immediately have Ooh, the sirens go off and have Jordan Grace's music. I wouldn't have told nobody that she was wrestling in the first match because most people would expect her to wrestle in the main. But they got better and bigger things set up for the end. So to start yeah. hot and start with something exciting. I mean, let's be real. What, of all things that you knew about that was happening on NXT last night, what was the most thing you were excited to see? Probably Jordan Grace, right? Jordan Grace, because the thing is, she announced that she couldn't do any more indie booking because she had a contract obligation. That's awesome. Well, they had their chance when she was around, right? Yeah. But now she's now she's hot. I hope she wins the title. That would be so awesome. She'll if be she was winning. at the when she wins two titles, she'll have she two was, titles. Dude, if she was a double champion in two companies, that would be huge. And then wait till NXT people start going over to Impact. I mean, let's face it. If you look at Impact, or they call it TNA now. If you look at TNA, it looks like NXT UK. They're using all the guys that were in NXT UK that went to NXT that came back to America, uh, got fired by WWF, and now, bam, they're over in TNA. There's a whole bunch of them over there. Remember the grizzled young veterans? I don't know if you ever saw those guys. Yeah. But they all did their runs over in NXT UK. Like Trent Seven, he's over there in TNA. But we still got his partner, the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. He's still rocking, but now he's tagging with 
Pete, Pete Dunn, and they were on SmackDown. Boring as hell. I like I like Tyler Bate, but man, I can't stand Pete Dunn. It just yeah. you know, I was I was having this discussion with the people that I was telling you that I was talking to them, and age sucks. That's really the bottom line. We were talking about the Tyson and the Jake Paul fight where they were saying how Tyson's 60. Why would a kid want to fight somebody who's 60? And if he beats somebody who's 60, what does he have to prove? And I'm just thinking to myself, like, it's kind of the same thing with, like, the beautiful girls that we had, like, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Okay, that was fun. And we would love to have that fun again. But 15 years later, they don't, they're not the same anymore. You know what I mean? So we just got to accept the fact, just like I do with the Attitude Era. Everybody talks like the Attitude Era was the best part of wrestling. Well, the reason why the Attitude Era was so special to me was because just before it was the ECW era. And it was even when ECW had spilled over onto WWF TV. Do you remember that? Were you around for that? Yeah, yeah, I remember some of that. When Dreamer and Sandman came out on, on Raw. You know what I mean? The Dudley Boys came out on Raw. Pauly Dangerously came out on Raw. Yeah. And they went head up with Jerry Lawler because Jerry Lawler was WWF to the teeth. Like, that was so good. That was like, oh my God, some of the most exciting wrestling. And then you move into the Attitude Era and you move into the Monday Night Wars. And I got to live all that. I got to be at all those shows. Like, you know, I talk to people now that think they know everything about wrestling and they're like, Oh, I remember watching that when I was 13. I was watching that on TV. Well, bitch, I was in the arena. I was sitting in the front row. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to compare, but I mean, let's be real. I'm just spitting facts. Like, this is the big thing. And when, when people talk about wrestling, a lot of times there's a lot of people that think they know everything, you know, and nobody ever knows everything. I've forgotten more than most people ever know about wrestling. But the people you see at a show, like when you're talking outside, you got your tickets, you're waiting to go inside. They won't even have a good, con like, it's hard to have a conversation sometimes between wrestling fans because they think they're so high and mighty that they, tr they treat me like crap. Like I've been treated by like crap. Even when I was a little kid growing up, I would go to wrestle myself, eight, nine, 10 years old. And I would still get treated like crap by adults. You know, nasty, nasty ass wrestling fan adults would treat me like crap as a kid just because they thought that they're better. But all, all you need to do to know more about wrestling than anybody else is have a better memory. You know, if you and I watch the same wrestling the same length of time throughout our lives, but I have a better memory. Well, when it comes down to it at the end of it all, who's going to know more? It's going to be the guy with the better memory. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's not that you watched any less wrestling than me. It's not that you cared less. It's just so happens to be that I have a better memory than than some people, and sometimes it blows people away. And that's why people watch my stream because daily I'm blowing people away. Like the director of nursing that just came in my room, the boss of all bosses. Yeah. I prophesied that she was going to come in my room before she even came. Like a half hour before she came, and I haven't seen her in weeks. I said, I feel like, and her name is Beth. I said, I feel like Beth is going to come into my room right now. And I, not even a half hour later, bam, the door opens, and there she was. And I wasn't surprised at all because I had already spoken it into existence. We're, we're capable of some real amazing things when we put our mind to it, Jake, and we use yeah. the power of dwelling inside of us. The human body and the human mind is capable of so much more than we already think. So if we can open it up and let it do amazing things, I'm excited. Yeah. I don't know about you. What, what about you? Do you think you got special powers? The only special powers I have is I fart. You fart? Yeah. I'm a fart cool. man. I'm fart man. That's awesome. Farting is cool. Uh, He's a fart. Uh, uh, by the way, you know, you know, you know, that was Howard Stern's gimmick back in the nineties. As far I remember, in. that was on the MTV Awards, right? Yeah. And he came down, and he had a, the ass on the outside of his little yellow and red costume with the cape, and he was Fart Man. Do, do you think that that's it? Like, 
do you think that's good entertainment? Do you think that's funny? Like, if he did that today, do you think no. that it would be funny? Do you think no. people would laugh? No. And Here, it here's the thing: it would it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be like the nineties. Like, it would be more like force force laughing. So what's changed? Has people changed? Yeah. So the, it's the same thing for all entertainment then. So the stuff that Bubba was doing 20 years ago, he's got to be doing something different today. And every once in a while, you know, he gets excited and he thinks about, oh, man, if I could only, he was talking about it today. Oh, man, if I could only, he was talking about having some, I don't even, I don't even want to say it. I don't want to say it on your show, but it was crazy. He was having these guys do something crazy. And it was unbelievable that, that uh, he couldn't. Even I remember. I, I remember. I remember when he uh, lit that guy on firework. Firework man. Look, right he was there. talking. With, he was talking about that today with Gene Lasker. He did that to Tom the Tree Man, and Lasker was asking if we were going to do it again for this Fourth of July, and Bubba's like, "No, no." And that's what brought up the whole discussion of what Bubba used to do versus what Bubba's doing now. And because yeah. we live, because we live in a snowflake cancel culture world, he feels like he can't do anything. He's limited to what he can do, and especially to what he can say. I hate yeah. restrictions on what we can say, man. I just want to say whatever I want, whenever I want. But we get restricted every time. Here's the thing: we get restricted every time. You know, a lot of times we can't even. Back in the day, you could say what you want to say. You could you could say the homie pub f word. You could say a lot of things. Now they because they there's people that that are trying to cancel culture us all. You can't even you can't even say a girl looks good without someone being. Well, that that's the thing is like I, I heard it on my my pastor said it, it's it costs nothing to pay a compliment to somebody and. It's it makes them feel good, you know, that they're noticed. You compliment their hair or you compliment their clothes or anything. You just pay a compliment to somebody. But now if you try to pay a compliment, it's always taken as, oh, he's hitting on me. Oh, he must want something from me. No. So nowadays, who even wants to compliment somebody if you're only going to get flack back for it? Right. Yeah. But I, I, there still must be a little bit left of, uh, down there in the south of decent people. Hospitable yeah. people, southern they hospitality. Are, it's dead are, up here, bro. They, there's no, there's no hospitability up here. There's this. Oh my god, the north is the worst. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get down south where I belong. Yeah, you got so many people that are uh, worried about. You know, what you got to worry about is now. It's like you all have to deal with thing. Yeah. You know, the problem is, is we'll have an issue trying to get you places because of the, uh, because of your restriction. Oh well, yeah. Well, I found out today just now the, the boss looked it up. She said, if I wanted to move to Florida, that in Florida, before you could get Medicaid, you have to live in Florida for six months. So you have to find somewhere to live for six months. So you're down there. And then after the six months, you're eligible for Medicaid. You can go here and do that and get this and that. So I was like, all right, Florida, check. <laughs> all set. <laughs> Besides, I don't know how I'd get there on oxygen for 24 hours in the back of an ambulance, but whatever. Whatever whatever uh, God's going. Actually, uh, talk to them. Here's the thing. One of the things that, that they could actually medevac you there. How, what is that? Is that a helicopter? Air, uh, airplane. Oh, really? They could actually send an airplane for you, medevac you. That's hot. Hey, I got to ask you a question. We were talking about what we can and can't say. Now, you would know better than anybody. You know the word that got us banned on Twitch, right? What if we're not the one that said it? What if, like, let's say I'm watching a uh, television show and, and it, that, it, word, that word comes out on the TV show, but I'm streaming? It, it, it doesn't matter. It, 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 let me say something. If it's on TV and stuff, and they 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 they, they it has to basically the thing is it's, it wasn't someone reported it, uh, somebody reported it, or someone wa was watching the vlog. Right, but what I'm saying is the difference of it coming out of my mouth directed at the, the screen, 
or the difference of I'm just sitting here talking and in the background, boom, it pops up and I'm like, oh, yeah. and I cut the TV off right away. It's fleeting. Technically, I mean, it's, it's I didn't leave it on to keep it going. You know what I mean? It was just yeah. a quick, it didn't happen. I'm just playing hypothetical. And I'm asking in your experience, obviously, if I say it, then I deserve to pay the price. But if it just pops off on something that I'm watching or somebody else says it, you know, I take a phone call from somebody and, I, and I'm streaming and all of a sudden they say it. Well, it's not like I have a dump button. You know, you can't dump anything out on Twitch, right? It's just live on live. It's just lit. Yeah. So, I mean, I can mute it. I can, I can cut the mic off. But once it's said, it's said, right? Yeah, and the thing is, it's also, uh, by the way, when you when you do a phone call like that, you have to let people know, you have to let the person know that you're streaming first. Oh, I always do that. Anytime, anytime that I'm recording somebody, like, for the phone, there's a couple of slick ways around it. I just say, hey, hello, you're live. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty much, or I'll say, hey, uh, hello, you're live on my show. You know, I, I'll say that, or... There's one more slick one that I would do. Let me think of what it is. Um, oh, I would just say, hey, this call's being recorded. My name is Joe. Hey. And here's and then we'll go into what we're going to discuss. So I've always been straight up with that. That way I, I want to be able to reuse the recording if it's good. So like no. when I get a call from a scammer, oh, that's the most fun. How long you can hold a scammer on the phone? Fun game. No. Oh, we got somebody in the back. We got someone, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Bardo X. What's that? Sorry, I didn't see. I didn't see that where you were uh, backstage. I just got there. There's a, there's a bit of an echo. Do you hear it? Can Can you hear it? No. It's uh Joe's Joe's audio, so he's on mobile. Oh, well, I have my okay. fan on because I I like no, being you cool. Echo, echo, echo. You got you got to go into your settings. You got to go into your settings to hit echo cancellation. Where are the settings? The settings would be on the bottom where. All right, I'm in settings. Bottom. Audio. Okay. Yeah. Echo, e echo cancellation. Turn it off. Yeah. yeah. Turn it turn on. on. And and turn on background noise. What and is turn it? Turn on background. Turn on background noise. Where is it? Turn that on. Huh? Where is that? Uh, you don't see background noise, but you no. saw echo cancellation. I see mic volume. Yeah, echo cancellation is off, and that automatically turned off. Automatically adjust mic volume, so that's off. Uh, turn, turn way, uh, on. I, I agree with y'all earlier about Jordan Grace. She is something special. Yeah, you got them Jordan. both turned on. How's it working now? Sounds great. Hell yeah. All right. Um, Jason, 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 I'm Joe. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, man. Run into you Thanks later. for the help. <laughs> Thanks for the help with that. Jason no is a uh, Jason actually does a podcast every night called Bored to Death. Bored half to death. Sorry, but uh, yeah, it's twelve a.m. Eastern. Um, anyone's pretty much invited. Just DM me on that, on X, and you can come in and, and hang out with and, uh, Bobby Nix and all those guys. JBX. Uh, that's that's your that's your Facebook. Yeah, uh, JBX Art Movement at JBX Art Movement YouTube at uh, at JBX is God. Yeah. What platform do you stream on? YouTube. Uh, I YouTube. You, you, nice. should, you should uh go go and subscribe. You you'll see a lot of cool shit there, bro. I want I want to stream live on YouTube, but I said you had that fifty subscribers. Now I got like two hundred and seventy and. Still can't do it. It's not letting me do it. So I just keep making shorts. Shorts are fun. Well, hit me up. You can come on one of the shows we do. He's easy. Uh, his shows are actually good. His shows are actually good. What are some of the topics? 
Uh, there's no, there's well, there's a couple. A there's a couple shows. There's there's one like Bored Half to Death. It's not a show. It's just a hangout, and it's all these podcasters on all these different networks that you might think is Dabbleverse or Hackverse. They come there and they just hang. Like this, they come on the stream live. You can see them and stuff. Yep. Bobby Nick's over there a lot of time. Bobby Nick is over there. Uh, Hat Rod. Delicious. Electra, Quad Father has been there. Uh, well, uh, pretty the much way, any of them. Oh, by the way, Joey C's having some issues today. Yeah, I heard. Joey, I heard. Uh, uh, Vince covered it today on his show. Yeah, I like Vince. I like Vince. BTL, BTL, BTL. Now, did you say Quad Father? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've had Quadfather on. I, I'm on BYB. I was on BYB about two days ago. Who is Quadfather? Is he a quad? Oh. He's a quad yes. He's Yes. A quad That's, That's a great that. name. If he, if he wasn't a quad, it'd be a dumb name. But because he's a quad, perfect name. Quadfather. I love it. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, he comes, he comes on. And there's a lot of people in there. Andrew, the giant, came on. Um, oh, did you hear what happened with him and Queenie? That girl, Queenie. Yeah, I saw that whole. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in Queenie now. Anybody she that evil? Basically, I'm calls, <laughs> basically tells a tell calls the kid retarded. And I, I on my stream the other day, I was like, if call if you want to call someone retarded, call me retarded. Fight, come fight me, Queenie. Don't fight someone that can't fight you back. Because I, I have a voice, and I will tell you this. I'm not afraid of anybody. Listen, I battle bigger, and I battle better, and Queenie ain't big or better. <laughs> listen, uh, I, I, was, I have actually, listen, half the people that, you know what, I come, I come from the school above the love sponge. I outsell everybody. Bubba, well, he, it, yeah. He's a major influence on me. Uh, coming up from Tampa, listening to him for pretty much all my life. <laughs> if I can uh, think uh, about uh, it, really. Uh, 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 Joe actually worked with Bubba, worked with Bubba on... on uh, you heard, if you, if you listen to Bubba, then you heard my calls every day. I'm Joe the Supermark. I'm the one that has the whole Hogan tattoo across my entire back that Bubba dared me to get. You're, you're Joe the Supermark? you Joe the yeah. For real? Oh, that's crazy to hear you. Wow. Cool, cool. That's cool, man. Yeah. So I, I I, would just stick with Bubba and just stay and not do anything anywhere else. I, I didn't even stream myself. And then I got shut out of his chat rooms. So I had no outlet for all my brilliance, my ideas, my humor and whatnot. So I said, well, let me turn on the stream. And I started streaming on Twitch. And then... And then I met somebody on Twitch that introduced me to Jake. So that I just started coming on and shooting the shit uh, with Jake. Uh, uh, J uh, Jack Mahago. He's the one. I, I didn't know if he wanted me to drop his name or not. So I didn't say it on purpose. But he's the one. <laughs> yeah, he's the man. By the way, do you know who told me about, uh, you know, who I got, the, you know, the reason I got to meet Tuttle is because uh, if, if I didn't get to meet Tuttle, I wouldn't meet Wendy. Because Total was the one that let me meet Wendy. That's awesome. Lemmy, little Lemmy, little Lemmy actually made the connection with me and Total. Isn't that amazing the way it works? You meet somebody, and then you get to meet somebody else, and you get to meet somebody else. It's just so tremendous. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that, by the way, because Alicia Jordana, and because Alicia Jordana, I got to meet High Pitch Eric. You got to meet him. You got to have him on. I was on. I was on a show with him. I was on the the wrap up show of Coming Your Friends one time with with High Pitch. That's so who's cool. High, who's High Pitch? This is <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. Clarkson. <laughs> By the way, if you guys want to tip the stream, there you go. Hell yeah! Just a tip. See you, Jason. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I just uh, I don't know. Put. Uh, Put my uh, link in for my uh, channel to uh, or to uh, 
Twitter in the private. Uh, yeah, uh, just Jason, have you, have you hold on? I gotta ask Jason a question. Have you ever played just a tip? <laughs> no, I like to go all around oh, the shaft. Oh no! Hey, <laughs> hello. <clears throat> Hi, this is uh, Stevie Lou of Stevie Lou Enterprises. Hello, Stevie. Hey, Stevie. Hello. Stevie, you look well groomed. And who am I speaking with now? I'm hey, Joseph. Uh, 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 you know me, Jake, Jason, and Joe. Oh, wonderful! Hello. Uh, hey, you're on. Jake. You're on the air. You're on the air. Of the Joe. Joe actually worked for Bubba the Love Sponge. Oh wow! Stevie, Stevie used to work for Anthony Cumia. No, no, for uh, East Side Dave, who was on the Compound Media Network. So that's common mistake. But thank you. Well, what, did, nice. what did you? What did you do, brother? What What did you I do over there? Producer. I was a producer. So you brought up the news stories, or yeah, I was a producer and on air talent, actually. Uh, and then, did you set up guests? Did you bring stories? What was your uh, Your I, level of production. Yeah, I still have uh, Billy Mitchell's phone number, and actually, Billy Mitchell will text me occasionally, asking me where the link is. I, I haven't worked for that show for eight years or so now. It feels, but uh, it's, who's Billy it's, Mitchell? Sometimes, Wait a minute. You know, who's Billy Mitchell? Wait, the guy, the the King Kong guy. Correct. Yeah, he. If you look up Billy Mitchell and Eastside Dave, Eastside Dave and Billy were were pals. So Billy used to come on all the time. So yeah, that was one guy that I used to have to try to book. Uh, we used to do, uh, dude. You know he's suing a guy right now. He's suing a, a YouTuber for defamation. Yes, yes, I do know well, about that. Well, was said like, and if you then in the best way possible. Basically, basically uh, a guy by the name of Carl Job. There's Carl Jobs. Uh, Joe, I think it's pronounced like Jobs. I think, but close. Yeah. It made a couple of videos talking about the situation where allegedly, allegedly, Billy Mitchell cheated at Kong and used <laughs> a main board, a main board, zip main or, or, or used a, uh, uh, he faked his. Yeah, it's uh, machine, run. machine assisted. Uh, is what you're you're going for there? Machine assisted is what he was doing instead of actually doing the inputs himself. He was using computer help to get his records. Uh, yeah, and again, right. it's allegedly because you will get sued by Billy allegedly. if you say that yeah. sort of thing. Allegedly, uh, you know. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, Stevie, uh, you blocked me, dude, and you didn't need to, man. I'm not against you. I, uh, I had to, bad. buddy. Anybody that associates with Byb and Derek Quadfather, they're completely. No good with me. I'm sorry. Anymore. That guy that's, put, that's, that's, put a dress, yeah, but that, put my dress out on the air and stuff, so I can't. Yeah, Anybody but, who does anything with that guy is completely cut out of my book. I'm sorry. Uh, Bobby hey, Nick's cut out of your me, book? What about me? What about Bobby, me, Bobby? Bobby Nick's cut out of your book? a different story. Listen, guys, my subway is coming here, so I got to run. I love you all. It's yeah, not yeah, a big deal. Right. 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 What's your piece of shit? Brother? So, I got to run. Brother, yeah, well, I'm not a piece of shit. You shouldn't treat me like a piece of shit and act like a piece of shit. I'm sorry, Jason. Fuck you. I'm sorry. I, I'm fuck okay with me. him being on, but wait, you didn't do nothing. You didn't do anything wrong, buddy. I couldn't hear what he said, so I, I, I think pre Madonna. I'm gonna tell you this: I, I think that God blocks bad things from my ears because when whatever he said at the end there, I didn't hear any of it. Uh, hey, uh, he, was running, he was running. He was running. He was running from me, asking him a question. Why do you block me? He says because I went on a podcast. That I'm not even in, I'm not in part of the group. I just went on the podcast. I go on there often. I don't get paid to be on there. And he no, just blocks me. Well, well, let me, who, well, well, let me ask you this. If if he is going to act like that, then why does it matter if you're blocked? You, why would you even want to be a part or have anything to do with if someone that's going to act like that and treat you like that and then run? No, it's, it's other reasons artistically. I want what I'm saying is, if you're blocked, that's cool. That means you don't got to deal with this shit. He stuck well, in the I, back door over here and got at you, but. Yeah, I mean, he, he runs, but you're, you're right on one level. On another level, I have a, an idea. But, uh, yeah, it's not important. It's like a background thing, kind of. 
If I can get it done, uh, then good. Never give up. Oh, oh no. I'm, hey, hey, uh, sorry, I talked to him uh, just now, and I told him what I told him. This is the only time I've been able to tell him that. So, yeah, it's it's like it, it, it's done. Joe, I'm, try, I'm trying to say something here. Joe, uh, you're uh, sorry. I'm trying to. Joe, I uh, sent you a uh, I sent you Jason's link on Instagram. Nice. I'll check yeah, it out. So, I get it when I get off. By the way, by the way, they just put out a uh, video. Who killed WCW? They just put out uh, Vice. Who did it? Uh, Vice. Vice. No, no, no. Who killed it? Who's the one? Could have been. Uh, uh, I think it's. I thought. I think it was either Ted Turner or the or uh, or AOL. Okay, not Vince Russo. Not Vince. Vince Russo right. didn't kill WC. He was, I never he said. Was, I never said he was guilty. I just said. I I figured that's who they would put it on. That's who they would put the crime on. He seems like the the easy culprit. He was. He was on the sinking ship. It was sinking before he got there. I mean, you'll probably even have some people say Eric Bischoff ruined WCW. I mean, everyone. This is the thing about wrestling is that everybody's got their own opinion about everything. So that's why no wrestling fans can ever really see eye to eye on things, is because everybody thinks that they're right. They think that their wrestler's the best wrestler, and every other wrestler sucks. And you can't change my mind until two years goes by, and then you see Roman Reigns go from the Shield. So now he's the tribal chief. Oh my God! Now I take him seriously. Like everybody goes through that transition period, <laughs> the same way Cena went from being the the prototype, and then you know coming out there and and slapping who do you slap? Kurt Angle, I think, and um, <laughs> got the respect from Taker, got the handshake in the back, and then shoo, shooting star Randy Orton, same thing. Look at these guys. You know what I mean? All these guys right. 20 years ago, they were all so young and baby-faced. And now we can look at them and say, man, those are some of the top superstars when you think about your Mount Rushmore's of wrestling, you know? Mm hmm It was the same thing in the, in the generations before. You know, you had your Flares, your Dusties, your Von Erics. You just had your people that you always knew, like, all right, well, these are stars. So they stuck around 20 years later. So, of course, they're still going to be stars. To the point where you can't walk anymore, like the Rock and Roll Express. They're still trying to act like they're 20. <laughs> it's, so, it's so hilarious. It looks, um, it looks absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, you know it, you know what? The thing is, it's like I love... I I'm going to head out, guys. I have All to right. go real quick. Thank you, Jake. Uh, yeah, nice to uh, meet you. Holy, uh, holy jokes. Oh, right. Yeah, buddy. Pleasure. Yeah, we'll see you around. Jason, thank you so much. And, and by the way, go watch tonight. Go watch episode 18 of Board Half to Death. That's at midnight on YouTube, right? Yeah. Right. And uh, if you DM me, uh, you can come on, hang out. I'll it's send you some hang out. You want some D pics? <laughs> That's the only way you get in the show. Uh, I got you. <laughs> I'll be, be ready. They're coming your way, pal. <laughs> All right, brother. Bye. God bless. Appreciate you, uh, Jake. God bless. I'm glad he was able to show us how to get that echo thing off. That's that's key. That was easy. All right. And then there was one. Two. Well, you're the star, man, so. I'm just one. You yeah, transcend I numbers. To, I just want to say that number one, that it's so funny that people want to act like that they're they're this pe that I, I I bring the people to the shows. Right. Without you, it's like look at it like this. You're the ring, okay, at the show. Now if, if there's no ring, there's no show. It doesn't matter how many wrestlers are there, how great they are. Without the ring, there's no show. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, and the thing is, is like I always bring up the thing. The reason one of the top things is you worked with, with you didn't work with Stern. You didn't work with a lot of that. You worked with some guy that 
the Bubba Art, the Bubba Love Sponge, someone who's who's made money. You know, he didn't have to make money calling people retarded. Hello. I'm uh, here, buddy. That word scares me. He didn't have to. He didn't have to go make money calling someone retarded and all that shit. I I believe it. He I can entertain. It. Let me tell you. I've I've said this before, but I want to reiterate that all the years the bubble was on terrestrial radio, I never once accidentally cursed on any of my phone calls where I was on for. 20, 30 minutes a day. And I never once accidentally let any curse word out. Ever. I mean, I got to give myself props for being able to pull that off. Cause, and, and it's so easy. For some reason, it's like my brain is on another level when I'm, when I'm on a terrestrial show where I can't swear. And it won't even send swears towards my mouth. Like, I know all the right words to say to still push the envelope yet not cross the edge where you're dropping S or F bombs or whatever, right? Like that's awesome. I hope I never I hope I never messed that up. That would suck. Cause I have such a great record of twenty plus years. Never he never had to dump me out once. He had to dump out my the manager of the liquor store when he did Evil Can Evil Call the Liquor Store. I was real mad at my boss. So I was home and I called up Bubba and I told him, hey through the evil Knievel on the liquor store. So the bit was so good. Bubba ended up putting it on one of his CDs. It's on the Morning Domination CD set. Now, I'm yeah. not internet savvy, so I can't find Morning Dom and find Evil Knievel calls the liquor store online, even though I looked for it this past weekend. But I got Rhett yeah. to play for me on his rock and roll show that he's doing. He's doing a secret rock and roll show only on Rumble. And he really doesn't announce it. He's just kind of got to know if you know. and come upon it so he ended up doing 13 hours on saturday from nine to t no sunday from nine to ten from nine in the morning till ten at night just playing all kinds of different rock music yeah and the thing is it's like now it's like people there's a lot of people that are doing like shows over on rumble i see people do like 12 plus hour shows over there makes me want to do stuff on rumble i heard the payout on rumble is like 90 10 that's what I heard. Actually, it's fifty-fifty. It used to be. It used to be. We used to get like thirty percent. Now we get it like it's fifty-fifty split. Who's got ninety ten? I wonder. There was just uh, the ninety-five. Ninety-five five is uh is kick. No, really. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Man, I would aggregate everybody over to kick if that was the case. I would never do business anywhere else. That's so good. Yeah, but uh, I want to ask: Is they 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 came in? They told you who the new boss is? She said he was coming. He was supposed to be here. Let's say about a couple weeks ago. I remember the May fourteenth being the date that was thrown around, and then I guess he needed a little more time. So he's here now. Yeah, the thing is, it's like I just want to tell you that they, what they're what they're trying to do is they 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 might have issues with people. They get, they'll get called an idiot and stuff, idiot. But the thing is, it's like you have guys guys could do better jobs a lot of times. I just, wherever I find a problem, I present a solution. So I'm not just going to say, oh, you sucked at this and that's that. I'm not going to leave it at that. I'm going to say, hey, this is what happened, but here's how we're going to do it better next time, okay? You got me? All right, good. I'm glad. And then if they mess it up next time, I'll give them another chance. And I'll try again until they figure it out. Most people are physical learners, especially these people that don't even speak my language, our language. and I have to teach them physically what to do because I talk and it's like the, uh, what they must hear. That must be like Charlie Brown's teacher. You know what I mean? Like when I talk and I say, hey, can you grab this? Pass me that. And on the way back, grab this. They must hear wah, 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 because like 
a minute later, I'll say something, and then they're like, oh, you're going to... I literally just said what they're questioning me on. Like, they, they never heard it. So I don't know what they hear when I talk. I really don't. I don't know what anybody hears when I talk, to be honest. I don't know how much of what I'm saying is heard and how much of what I'm saying people tune out, you know? I hope what I'm saying holds weight and it sounds good, makes sense. What do you think, Jake? All right, what's up? Hell yeah. Did you leave? No, uh, all right. Uh, I'm gonna. I know that. I know this is. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna end soon because I'm, you know, a little bit tired. I know that we haven't. Uh, I know. Uh, I know we're going. Uh, the lunch box will be going on soon. Oh yeah. The lunch box. That sounds like a lot of fun. Is there any girls there? How many people are on the lunchbox? I've never heard of it. It sounds good. I always loved my lunchbox when I was a kid. I had the coolest lunchboxes that made everybody jealous. Yeah, and I hope everybody... Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for... Uh, for taking care of business. And as always, I'm going to thank everybody that's going to watch this after. Thank you all for catching up. Because right now, some people are just, get, you know, they're in the thick of things at work. They don't necessarily have time, but what I shared around, you know, for sure, the views are going to go up. The thumbins are going to go up. The analytics are going to be crushed. Man, and overall, it's just going to get bigger, badder, and better every single time. I'm excited if you're excited, Jake. What do you say? All right. Yippee yo. Yeah. Excitement. So it's dynamite. It's Wednesday. You know what that means. Sorry, I'm I'm a little uh not like wanting to like do anything. Yeah. I'm really intrigued with what you got going on over there. I'm trying to see it but I can't. All right, guys. We'll we'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye, y'all.